Hi, it's Brad. Well, I am back in the hangar again and wanted to show you today how to use the Garmin Pilot software to update your databases using the concierge system, along with some of the quirks that may have been causing some people issues over the years. So let's get started. Okay, so the very first thing, uh, get your GPU, go ahead, plug it into your aircraft. I use a Mark Hanna unit, uh, just a little target cart here, inline switch, get some power on here. That way we're not gonna drain our battery while we're doing our database updates. Next, we're gonna go to our phone and do something that I have never seen documented, but I've found to be very important. Turn off your Wi-Fi auto join if you're connected to a Wi-Fi in your hangar. Also go ahead and go in, turn off your cellular. This way, when it's doing the database transfer, it will not automatically try to jump back to the network and interrupt and possibly corrupt that transfer. Okay, well, now that we've got the phone all set, let's go ahead and hop up into the cockpit. We'll get the next part going. It's gonna pop right in here. There we go. Okay, we're gonna flip on our battery one. Screens are gonna to start to come to life. We go. Okay, go ahead, acknowledge messages. We've got our fuel acknowledged and we should be ready to go. Okay, now we've started up our Garmin Pilot application. Uh, we come up here, we're gonna see on the PFD, it shows database update available. So we're just gonna hit the update button. And now we're back here over at the phone and we are going to go into our Wi-Fi settings, select, in this case it's called Brad Air Flight Stream, to have it connect to the Flight Stream system. Um, that should happen automatically, but oftentimes I have to do it manually like I just did right there. We're gonna go back into the pilot application. You'll see the Wi-Fi icon is here. Um, and we should actually be starting our database transfer at this point. And go to auxiliary, go to databases, and you're gonna see database transfer in progress. Pending, it's doing four, it's doing five. Here on the phone itself, we can click that icon and we'll actually can also see that the databases are transferring. And we should see once it's complete, there we go. No update in progress, which is good. Now it's going to verify and now it's going to synchronize. So this is actually gonna synchronize our databases then uh, between the Garmin units. Okay, and it looks like all of our synchronization is just about complete. You'll see all these sync complete messages on here. Just have a few seconds remaining. Uh, once the databases have synchronized back and forth between the two different units here, um, it'll basically come back and it will show you that the databases are all ready to go. Uh, depending on what it is that's updated, uh, you may actually need to reboot the uh, unit itself, in which case it's going to come up and the soft key here, you can kind of see it's grayed out right now, will show that it's due for a restart. In this case, we're just updating the standby databases. Um, if the effective dates were here, it would have us do that restart. So that's all there is to it. Of course, this is a hangar update procedure. If you're doing this in the air, uh, obviously you don't need to turn off your Wi-Fi, your things like that, so it kind of saves a step. Uh, it actually is safe to do in the air. It'll just update your standby databases. System will reboot once you get back on the ground. So it's another way to do this, to just have it run in the background. But if you're in a hangar, especially remember, turn off the cellular, turn off your auto join on your hangar's Wi-Fi. So that will definitely cause you issues and kind of headaches. But if you follow this procedure, it should work well for you, should work smoothly. So I hope that this helps everybody out there. Have a great day and fly safe. Bye-bye.